स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन एन पी टी एल कोर्स ऑन स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्म एंड आर्किटेक्चर द सीनर्जी टूडे वी आर एट लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड इन दिस लेक्चर विल कवर अप द स्ट्रक्चर अंडर ट्रस एंड स्पेस फ्रेम सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव सीन द एडवांटेज ऑफ ग्रीट एंड देन ऑल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सेवरल अदर स्ट्रक्चर डोम वॉल्ट एंड नाउ इवन द शेल स्ट्रक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट Uh, lecture now in this lecture we will try to focus on the advantage of using truss and then go for the space frame so let get started so uh, before we start anything uh, just uh, focus on this slide so basically this is a wooden structure where we can only see different members they are actually connected together and make a form so this kind of form is uh, normally being seen in may be for temporary panels or may be sometimes uh, with your uh, like factory uh, warehouses and all and these are referred as truss here the member is uh, made of wood but that can be also uh, made by some other materials as well we'll learn that in this lecture coming to the definition if we just take up uh, just go for the google search Uh, from dictionary.com or something it says a uh, framework typically consisting of a uh, rafters post and strut supporting a roof or bridge or maybe other structure so here it is basically a uh, framework so uh, the framework uh, is normally the uh, we can refer to uh, like something giving the skeleton of any structure so it look like a skeleton and then consisting of the raptor post so these are the members of the truss that we'll discuss post uh, is basically uh, like the way we support so if we just consider a triangular member so here we get uh, this kind of post it may be of your uh, king post or queen post will come to that and then uh, basically they need to get a support through tie and this truss can be used for your roof of a building it may be also used for bridges mostly like many different kind of trusses being used over uh, like uh, many years as uh, the bridge uh, to construct the bridges now coming to uh, the definition so uh, trusses are an assembly of structural members based on a triangular arrangement and member they are pin joint and where they join they are basically node so what exactly it is uh, like uh, i'll show you with a demonstration uh, then the joint connection are formed by bolting or welding at the end members together with a gasket plate so basically uh, whenever we uh, see a truss so basically we have multiple uh, members so it may be i section it may be wooden batten wooden lock and then when we just arrange those in a form triangular form will make uh, it more uh, rigid it will uh, make more stable with the joint so then this is uh, a truss now depending on the load that it can carry based on that the number of members will be decided the arrangement will also differ the angle will be determined based on that whether it will be having low rise rise i think all of you now uh, get to know about what is the rise we have discussed the same thing about the rise uh, when we discussed about the arches also when we discussed about the uh, you know sail structure when we discussed about the dome structure we talked about the rise and then depending on the angle we can have it like uh, broad angle or very narrow angle to that now whenever the multiple members suppose we take uh, 
uh, this example of a model of a bridge. So, many members they are connecting, so more than 3 members. So, with the help if you just try to see with a plate uh, it is being uh, you know connected. So, this is basically called your gusset plate. Trusses can be 2 dimensional or maybe 3 dimensional, when it is 2 dimensional we call it planar and then when 3 dimensional we call it prismatic. Now, uh, before we uh, go forward to know about different type of uh, you know loads acting on the truss and how it can help. So, let us understand uh, why that triangulation will help us. So, uh, suppose we have a, a member, okay, we have a beam and then we have two posts. So, post beam structure that we have studied earlier. So, here uh, due to the lateral force, so it will try to bend, right? And uh, at, after certain time, it, uh, the joints and the members are not having that much resistance, so it will collapse due to this force. Now, instead of that, if we just uh, make a tie, okay, add another member to it, so it will make it more stable. So, we also referred that as bracing earlier. So, it will help the structure form lateral like uh, form collapsing due to lateral forces. So, this is becoming a member. So, when we just divide it, so it will become it will form uh, like uh, instead of uh, like your rectangle or square, now we have two triangles. Like with this concept, we move to the struts. Now, at the same time, if we have say uh, a particular plate, okay, it will have a deflection when you uh, apply some load from top, top of it. So, it will uh, like bend like this and it developed a moment sagging moment. Now, instead of that, we just make a fold. Okay. And in this case, what will happen? The load acting on that will be transmitted easily. So, in this member, in these two member, the compression will develop and uh, once we try to put it, uh, like put the pressure from the top, it will try to go away. So, tension will be developed. In order to account, we add a member to it. That is also, this is making a very simple form of truss. Now, you make the repetition with adequate member then you get different kind of truss form. So, in order to make stability, you can add the post or else you can also go for different kind of truss arrangement. So, basically the triangulation like this. So, I have uh, this particular uh, truss with me. So, different color showing different members and uh, basically the bottom one, the blue one that you can see, it is basically acting on as T. The main reason, if I just remove it, so without that I have this member, right? So, if it is just a pin joint, so on applying pressure it will try to go away from each other. So, due to compression the bottom will uh, get the tension and it will try to go away. So, in order to resist that I add this member, so I fix it. So, in this case all the members are equal and the angle formed is 60 degree, it will give you the best result, desired result. But at the same time, if you use this particular uh, truss form, so then the height is also uh, uh, very high, consider the rise is very high and um, you can uh, understand that for a small span, it will not be really a good solution. And in that case, we can go for some other arrangement as well. Now, what I have just explained, so here is the same thing like in order to make unstable structure stable, we can go with the triangulation and the advantage of tie and start how they can make it. So, that can be alternatively explained by suppose you take a chain that I have given the example earlier also. So, you take a chain and then put a weight okay, at the middle. So, it will really give you uh, the stability, this particular form uh, where like there is no member at all, 
like we have these two members. So, due to this we have tension developed in this and here the compression will develop if you have tie. You just make it reverse, you just make it upside down, then you get the form of your this is again P. So, a truss and then you can get it supported, you can make a tie. So, this will be in compression, this will be in tension for, for the regular stress. So, it is explained again here uh, with the same thing like why compression and why tension. So, this is basically the forces in simplest truss form. Now, coming to the different uh, you know components of the stress. So, uh, we have uh, like top cord which also uh, referred as the rafter that we have uh, just seen in the definition. And when you have this truss that means, it is not a single one, you have more repetitive one and then basically you add those particular truss with this member, this is called purling okay? and this is basically your rafter and then uh, which is actually holding it, it is basically your uh, bottom cord or also you can call tie beam and then all these are actually members. Then in order to give much support also you can go with uh, like your uh, what we can say that these are basically your runner okay, which will make the structure more stable and uh, this is basically the clear span that we can get and the nominal span is taken as center to center of the support and the arrangement being designed with that and overhanging part is also important uh, due to this particular junction. So, uh, the pitch roof whenever it is being used for the building. So, this kind of truss being made so that uh, the rain water can easily be drained off with the slope and this projection will also help to, uh, to you know have uh, um, protect from the uplifting due to the heavy wind and also uh, it will protect during the rain. Coming to the material of truss. Now, we have seen that trimmer can be used and it was uh, used extensively in past even nowadays also for uh, especially in the hilly region and uh, the area where like light structure is recommended for the earthquake uh, prone areas and also there also we can use it. Alternatively, we can go with the steel and aluminum frame as well, but normally uh, aluminum frame is being used for the prismatic truss for making the temporary structures that I can show you and I think all of you are familiar with this kind of setup. So, normally during the concert, during a program faced in the college, we do this arrangement and it is very light in weight and that is why it is being really possible to uh, you know make it in quick time and then it is not basically a single uh, 2D truss rather than then it will have like uh, suppose is the post and then the triangulation in the post is making this particular truss is prismatic. But most commonly for the uh, industrial use and where the heavy span uh, to be taken into consideration we go for steel sections and we make uh, the truss out of steel. Coming to the uh, types of truss, so uh, if you search uh, in Google, so you will get different kind of form of the truss and we have different names either based on um, the arrangement or based on uh, like the person who has uh, invented, uh, discovered or who actually proposed this kind of truss arrangement. But uh, basically based on dimension we have 2D and planar, so 2D is basically what uh, I, we were discussing about it. And, uh, the 3D truss is basically the prismatic truss. So, it may be of uh, three members is running uh, uh, like this okay, at the bottom. So, uh, basically the cross section would look like a prism. So, this is the prismatic truss based on use uh, definitely we can uh, make a category of your roof truss and the truss used for the bridges. Now, planar truss having uh, the member like raptor, parlin. So, I guess raptor and parlin thing is very clear. 
So, if not again I am trying to show you in short. So, basically this is a pH group right. So, these are the members. So, what you have multiple number of trusses ok. So, now all these members are basically the truss member the bottom cord is also called as a tie and this angular member at the upper is called raptor and in order to connect those we also have this direction member that is called purlin and whenever they joint uh, the members we call it node. Now, this node can be joint just with the help of a pin very simple or else if you have multiple numbers. So, we can have a gusset plate and we can use welding, we can use revelt. So, there are many examples and here you can see that the uh, use of the uh, you know 2D truss in this. Now, coming to the prismatic truss. So, in this case like a series of uh, such triangular truss being added and make a form of this. So, it is pretty similar to the example I have given for uh, your um, concert setup, musical setup and here it is another example where you can identify that how this prismatic truss used to create this span. So, there is no column in between in this structure. So, the huge span being supported with this frame and even this is very important that we can go for 3D truss to have a columnless space. Coming to the types under roof truss and bridge truss commonly. So, I have listed very few in this category, but there are many more uh, many more in into this, but most commonly used trusses are like king post, queen post, prat. Wow, then Craig's truss, Warren truss, bowstring truss and Baltimore truss. Now, in the king post is basically uh, there is a central post. So, this is basically the king post. So, in the truss in the triangle only the centrally we have a member this king whereas, queen along with the king we have some other angular member adjusting to the raptor this is the queen post then Pratt is basically multiplication of that. So, we add more vertical post along with the angular. Uh, Vautrus is basically you have vertical members uh, like if you add only two vertical members to the queen truss it will become uh, to this category. Now, K truss is basically the truss formation is very tough and but the members will make a uh, later ok. The form of a letter is basically the k, this is basically the other inverted k. Why, whereas, the Warren truss is basically equilateral triangle they placed one after another. So, we have the members, we have a top cord and the bottom cord and then we have the members, regular members. Now, bowstring truss is basically where it is not the rectangle or uh, you know rectilinear form, here we are getting a arch form. So, this is also very common in the rail bridges we have multiple of such. So, many bridges are looking like this and where we can see this kind of arrangement. Baltimore truss is very complicated uh, where it is again uh, we are taking uh, some vertical members and to give support to those angular members we add more small you know vertical post and angular post to make it. Now, here the few examples are there of the truss. So, here you can easily identify which truss category it is. Can you guess? Yeah, I think uh, all of you can get the idea. It is basically the K truss. Okay. Move to the next example. In this case, it is again in circular. So, again go back to the category. So, which one uh, that the example is? So, this is similar to the uh, bow string. Stress. Now, this is something out of from the bridge and this example is uh, like 
I have uh, given this example many a times the Eiffel Tower. So, this is basically a nice truss, uh, you know, application of the truss, uh, steel truss, and it is just uh, uh, some architecture means which we can refer in, in many cases. But along with that, all the trans transmission towers, telephone towers, okay, uh, those are again uh, being made with the help of the truss. So, this is Eiffel Tower, but all other towers always like it is very similar to look like uh, this, but those are uh, made of truss. Coming to this, uh, basically uh, this is a temporary structure being made and made of wood. So, here you can see the you know series of trusses being used. So, uh, to give this form, it is not about a single rise. So, we can get a particular truss in this. Okay, and uh, can you refer uh, or can you say this truss which category it is? So, if you see we have king, but along with that we have. So, this is not king, not queen. So, additional to that we have. So, can now again we go back to this and here it is something Hawaii truss. Okay. And then also we have uh, the additional thing. Now, uh, the truss always need not to be uh, with the triangle or you know trapezoidal form, sometimes it may be of uh, uh, semicircular form. And here if you see that multiple trusses being used at the top, okay, you have some truss, but okay, the bottom member is not exactly the member, we get a section and then this is holding this space. So, this is for a station and you will get the similar kind of uh, truss application in almost uh, you know many, many uh, uh, railway stations even if you consider the Howrah stations, uh, Howrah station in Kolkata, there also you will get similar kind of form and these are the truss being used in multiple layer to get the daylight as well. So, in truss category there are something called not light truss, so for a factory uh, many a times we get this kind of truss form. So, this is basically the truss uh, being made and the light can enter through this particular uh, pattern or sometimes we may also make it inclined. So, light can easily you know go inside and can help uh, or maximize the daylight. Now, this is another example the modern building where again the prismatic truss being used to support it uh, and um, like this is one application shown in this. Now, application of trusses as we have seen almost, but this is I am summarizing it. So, it can be used for the bridge, it can be of the roof. Uh, many a time we go for the transit stations that refer to the railway stations, some metro stations, then building canopy in front of the building we can get this kind of truss. Building rooftop definitely sometimes for temporary or maybe permanently we can use that rooftop. Then for the parking area, if it is a surface parking or so, you can have this shade. Uh, transmission towers like I have already mentioned during your Eiffel Tower thing, the crane truss that uh, we can get it, uh, we can see in this picture. And then the sports stadium uh, truss is also important. So, have this membrane structure and all, uh, we also use the truss to support it. Now, advantages of trusses is basically uh, can be used for the long span uh, and as and when required we can increase the members and uh, make the truss little bit complex rather than the simple one, but uh, that can hold uh, the load. Now, uh, minimize uh, the weight of a structure as because it is just the member not any solid slab to be provided we can uh, go for that. Reduce deflection as because it is giving more stability compared to the uh, this particular shape because of the triangulation. Support heavy loads because of like support heavy loads compared to the equivalent section of uh, like solid member. Coming to the disadvantage increase in rise definitely in order to get better stability we can uh, we have to increase the rise and that is unnecessary increasing the height of the building. So, again this is one and the other disadvantage we can use the upper story uh, because of this uh, you know 
peach uh, nature, the slope nature. Expensive for small construction, definitely for the small the truss will be expensive, but for uh, the purpose like when we need to cover long span for commercial uses and other long the truss being repeated so that then it will be economic as well. Now, after that uh, we uh, directly move to the space frame. So, it is similar to the truss formation, but now the truss is not being uh, in a planner or is uh, very you know 2D form. So, now we um, uh, go for like more uh, 3D kind of formation and this is one example, this is under construction building of Jahadith. I have shown this example previously also the finished one, but this is under construction where as uh, the member uh, this is basically being used different tubes and they uh, made some you know connection uh, with some connectors and then form this space frame. Now, space frame is three dimensional structural framework again other one is the framework this is three dimensional. It is designed to behave as integral unit and withstand loads applied at any point. So, the main beauty of that the members are so designed. So, we have to just make the shape. So, uh, it can be of a pyramidal shape it may be uh, of uh, you know tetrahedron shape. So, with any such shape articulation with a proper connector it will act very suitably. So, the load distributed uh, they will distribute to the next member and all more efficiently and more importantly the as because it is just a tube and uh, many a cases being made with light material like aluminum alloy and all. So, uh, the dead load of the structure will be less and that can cover of you know uh, huge span without su such vertical support in regular interval. Now, space frames are three dimensional lattice structure made of linked pyramid or tetrahedra that already I mentioned like this and it is basically acted uh, based on the triangulation method. Load span and edge condition will depend on uh, the form and depth that we picked up, uh, what should be the depth of uh, this and uh, because of the continuation of member and linking. So, load sharing will be optimized like uh, this kind of structure we have seen in recent time for the uh, petrol pump where uh, like we only have this particular structure many a time this is being covered with some aluco bond or if it is open. So, we can see that with very less number of vertical may, uh, support this whole span being covered with that roof and this is being covered with some light material we can sometimes use some translucent material which will allow light and the area underneath will be enlightened. Now, in this case uh, uh, what exactly uh, uh, just uh, we discussed that the space frame is three dimensional can be of the pyramidal shape. So, most important thing is to know about the component one is the member and then the connector because whenever you think about the connection it is not only one or two members multiple members and that need to be fixed in a right manner. So, then uh, like on top of it we can connect it very suitably so that it can form uh, this particular space frame. Okay, and then the depth we get this height that will determine like how the load will be distributed. Coming to the component of space frame, so we have members and then connectors under connection the connection may be made by welding, it may be connected by bolt or may be sometimes with the uh, threaded connection. So, threaded connection, so one by one the welded connection the all the connections are getting weld uh, with the members and then the bolted connection that you can see if you just zoom this particular part then uh, the members to the connector is being adjusted with the bolt and now in the threaded connection is uh, uh, technique where like uh, those members are being fitted with us you know hemispherical or spherical uh, connector where we can make it. So, it is basically something the holes are there with a certain angle 
on this and we just fix it. We just fix it with that particular thread. Coming to the material that uh, uh, the steel can be used, aluminum can be used, even timber can be used for some of the race students that here uh, this is uh, indoor uh, stadium where uh, this particular space frame being designed with the timber. And here you can see that the material is uh, very light and aluminum can be used and here the steel is uh, the material. Coming to the types, now based on curvature we can divide the space plane covers. Uh, then we can go for the barrel vaults construction uh, as well and the spherical dome. So, space uh, plane is basically uh, that I referred as uh, you know the cover may be for the petrol pump and all. It may be simp uh, the supported by the end column or uh, like it may be supported by the end column but very few in number or else it may be supported with a cable. So, only a vertical post must at the center and it is being supported and this is being held. Barrel vaults where this members is bent and then we get this particular barrel form and the spherical dome is basically referred to the geodesic dome where the triangulation form they are actually making the dome. Uh, based on the arrangement of elements, we can have uh, double layer, flat double layer, flat multi layer means more than two, then double layer braced barrel that where the double layer is bent to the barrel form, free form special structure can also be applied where it is not about the straight or the curvature, it can get a free form and then the braced dome. So, basically that refer to the geodesic dome and all. So, let us just uh, quickly look into this. So, this is very clear about the why it is very plain and normally used in those areas uh, where uh, you can see that as a canopy of a building the barrel vault uh, here it is the space frame being used like this. Sometimes this can also be used for uh, like uh, metro station or railway station to have leak and this is what exactly the space frame is being used to make the dome. So, this is based on the curvature like one is very straight then you have this curvature this is straight and here it is basically a spherical. Now, coming to the arrangement element so here you can see the double layer. So, this is layer 1 or this is uh, layer 1 this is layer 2 and here you can see the layer 1 layer 2 and layer 3. So, how they are connected. So, uh, definitely this will able to carry more load, but at the same time the self weight will also increase. Uh, this kind of uh, structure if we design properly we can also just cover it with some material and we can use the upper floor. So, a load applied on these members they are just triangulated, they are distributed and they will transmit to the end support. So, that is the load distribution. So, here it is more complex. Coming to the barrel vault, it is the similar thing if you just try to bend this in this direction. So, that will lead to your barrel vault and here as I mentioned that it is not exactly uh, a semicircular curve or maybe something very straight. So, it is a free from special structure. Now, compared to that the brace dome, so that may be a simple one like with only single layer, only single layer can be just uh, connected like this or else it may be a double layer where this hexagonal shape being added. So, here it is based on triangle and here it is hexagonal shape. So, that is giving this particular form. Now, the typology of space frame. So, uh, how we make different layers. So, it layer may be diagonal or diagonal. So, the bottom one also diagonal, the upper one is also diagonal, diagonal on square where the bottom is square and then how we connect it, we basically connect those points with that. So, how it will look. So, it may be of the larger diagonal square on square uh, offset, then also we can get this connection of this particular point or else we can have uh, the square on larger square uh, can just get it connected or maybe the square on the diagonal grid. 
Now, this is one example from uh, Pragati Maidan recently being dismantled. So, the here also we have seen the use of uh, like your space frame at the top. Uh, in this also if you see this image very carefully along with those uh, prominent members there are very thin members along with which is basically nothing but the space frame holding this entire volume. So, this is really um, interesting here it is a domical form, but with due to space frame it is it is able to hold this much of span. So, this is beauty of using space frame. This is another example this is next to your uh, um, uh, Air Force uh, you know uh, chapel uh, in US next to that. So, here also the space frame being used, but in a diagonal form. This is from one particular station where you, you can easily identify the point and here it is if you just uh, understand the connector. So, it is basically the threaded connection that is being made and here it is again uh, uh, making a form where it is not a circular. So, it is connecting in a dynamic form to give this particular shape and how the triangulation is made. And if you see it carefully all the members their cross sections are not equal. So, it is depending on the load the main members and the supporting members that will be decided. So, it needs good computation and engineering to come up with the right solution for that and the top covering will uh, also you know depending on top covering how the material will be used. So, this material and the cross section will be decided. Now, this is again a huge structure made of space frame and here it is again uh, if you uh, follow up that thing it is basically double layer barrel. So, this is a single layer and double layer and how they are connected uh, to each other all the members. So, this is really very interesting to make any hanger for the aircraft maintenance and all. So, this kind of thing can be applied even for the uh, you know some auditorium we can use it. This is where uh, you can see that how uh, it is not a form like two uh, wings kind of form being adjusted with this. And this is the geodesic dome that already we have seen this is another picture of that it is look so perfect uh, and due to the space from the spherical, but it needs accuracy. So, for that like the application already we know that commercial industrial structure auditorium skylight sometimes to in insert the light the canopy is building canopies toll booths for the small structure exhibition halls the sports stadium as well. So, wherever the trust being used then you can also go for the space frame. Now, advantage uh, is similar to the truss it is lightweight and then uh, that is why the it decrease the self weight or the dead load and uh, less number of columns. At the same time it is basically a prefabricated unit can be easily transport at the dismantle form and then you just club them together to get the form and that can be done with uh, semi skilled labor as well. So, this is a very rapid construction. Then uh, this is sufficiently steep to carry the load. So, there is no compromisation on that and it can be flat curve or free form that we have discussed and the visual beauty is definitely if you see the dome made of that is perfect execution. Coming to uh, the disadvantage of this particular uh, part is again uh, for small span it will be expensive. So, we should not really uh, try this kind of thing for a very small solution we can definitely if we just want for the aesthetic purpose, but if we want is at the structural member wherever we need to cover a large span with light structure this is one of the greatest option. Now, coming to the summary already we have summarized the truss and uh, then the space frame both are acting with the similar triangulation method which is giving uh, more rigidity more steepness to the structures and then based on that we have discussed the different application of truss and space frame where like uh, basically the whole members like uh, the members of uh, truss or space frame they are taking compression and tension and they are balancing out it. So, that the structure will maintain the equilibrium condition and for that I have shown you very uh, limited photographs of the buildings as because within this lecture we have to cover two topics. 
So, I would suggest you uh, that you go through uh, you know internet, go through read uh, several articles and books and add more examples, uh, real life examples or if you have visited some place, you have seen similar kind of structure, do share that uh, with me in the forum and definitely I would like, love to see those and discuss over it. And these are the study material already being uh, given in different slides, you can follow up those books and you can definitely refer others than this as well. So, with that I conclude here and uh, we will be discussing the next topic that is folded plate structure uh, in uh, lecture number 28, which will be again a very useful and interesting structural member, structural arrangement uh, that can help us to be, uh, make good architecture. So, we will see that how architectural form and folded plate structure they blend in the next lecture. So, till then I again thank you all for take part in to the course and I will be waiting for uh, the next lecture to uh, you know discuss more on the folded plate structure. Thank you.